another garden tour. There's a few bits been going on in the garden, so I will show you that. But before we jump into that, please consider subscribing as we're bringing out new content all the time. So let's jump into this garden tour. Yeah, in here we have lemon verbena, we have spearmint, look at that, only a pound for that nice big plant. We have banana mint, black peppermint, pineapple mint. So we've got some other bits coming in as well. We've got some cinnamon basil I planted. So, that's that one. Over here, we've got the lemon balm that's come back, the mark mint has come back. That's weed. The lime mint has come back. Weeds. And then my lavender bush, which is just a mess of buds. So I'm pleased with that. Yes, we planted that for the third time now. I'm just looking to see which oregano that is. We've lost the tag for that. Wonder where that's gone. It'll turn up, no doubt. So we've got Archer's Gold Thyme, got Moroccan Mint, Ginger Mint, uh, that's oregano, and that's a basil mint. Look at this. That's called a ranunculus. And it's a chocolate ranunculus. And it is just beautiful, absolutely stunning. And then we've got some little primroses here. And they are pretty, they're my husband's, he's the one that planted them. Those ones. Here, we've got the calendula that I grew from seed this year. That's there. That is grown lovely. This is the one from last year. We've also put some pansies in. Beautiful. Go to this one. As you can see, we've got pansies in all over the place. And, wow, look how big everything's grown. This is all the brassicas. And there is cabbage, that's a Chinese cabbage. Just there, we have, we bought some Brussels sprouts, the red ones. So we've got some of those in. That one there. Is our kale. So we've got kale. We've got a Swiss shard. What else have we got? We've got a squash of some sort. Down there. Yeah, this is be all the cauliflowers, cabbage. Broccoli and some weeds by the look of it, so I need to come in here and pull some of them up. Got these little ones planted. And then this growing tower. I'm loving this. This is growing really well. Carrots. 
to all beans. That's the dwarf French bean, these I think are uh, dwarf runner beans. Got some lettuce, some spinach, some lettuce, got some kohlrabi, purple and the greens, more calendula. This is courgette. That's a little bitty courgette. What did we have? Squash down there. And these ones are popping up, but I need to get into them. And definitely weed that one, which is a bit of a pain because there's no way to really get into it. So I'm going to have to be doing some climbing. <laughs> That's always in enlightening. These need de-weeding as well. And this is my saffron. Three more bags of spuds. Oh, and here we have Jessica's sweet pear mint, which is this one. And this one. We have Spanish mint. And Tashkent. I don't know which one's which now. This is um, savoury. I love savoury, it's one of my favourite herbs. And yeah, check out this lot. <laughs> These are doing, oh my goodness, look at the size of that radish. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's huge. <laughs> oh my word. I'm going to have to come out and pick these. <laughs> that is just crazy. <laughs> oh my. I've got some onions growing here. I still need to sort these peas out. They need to go up on something. These are peas. I need to really trellis these up soon. The rest of these are turnips. Beans are doing fine along the back there, all the way along that edge. Carrots are doing well. We put some more Brussels sprouts we've put along there because we didn't have anywhere else to put them, so we just popped them in there and see how they do. Some more pansies. This is an asparagus pea that is a squash of some sort. A cute little garden bug. Blueberries are doing well. Look at these. Very happy. The raspberries <coughs> are in flower. My goodness. We're going to be eating raspberries very, very soon. Oh, check these out, guys. Raspberries. <laughs> oh my. So many raspberries. This is where the garden starts to get overgrown very quickly. But it's also lovely at the same time. These I'm going to have to tie back to allow some sun into these strawberries. Got red currants come in and lots. Yeah, check these out. Green red currants. They're already they're already coming. My goodness. This bush is gonna be loaded with them, which is fine. And then we come down here. Ah, beautiful. These, I think, are poppies. Some violas, some pansies. The nasturtiums are doing well. They're the ones I grew from seed. Uh, here's a calendula. They're doing well as well. We have the mints in here. We have mint, injuana. 
apple mint and mint orange mint and in this one we have Swiss mint, eau de cologne mint, spearmint and berries and cream. This is the salad which is actually bolting so need to pull those up because they're no good they'll be bitter otherwise. So yeah, got some nice lettuce going in here, That'd make a nice salad. I may try and put that some of that for dinner tonight. Okay, and then into here, this trough wasn't doing very well. So this is sweet basil, parsley, thyme silver queen, thyme lemon variegated. That one is absolutely lovely so citrusy we've got oregano country cream and we've got burnet salad so I'm just seeing if anything else comes up as it normally replants itself but it's not looking very promising this year down here is all the beans and up here we've got some flowers we've put in so we've got a fuchsia, Winston Churchill, a petunia, what's that little petunia, purple blue, and then we've got these ones here, what we got, tumbelina, damson ripple, but this one's lovely, it's all one plant but it's on several different colours, red, pink, and yellow. They are gorgeous. Spuds have gone crazy. I need to get some more in the pots. But I need to get more compost for that yet. Yeah. Okay, so we've got some more flowers we've put in across there and there. And we've also put some on the shed. So again, we've got down here the beans. Our peas are going mad. Now these do need a little bit of a help. They're not growing in the right way. <laughs> and peas will do that. Excuse me, let go pea. You need to go that way. Come on. You can do it. You just need to come along periodically to try and get these to grip hold. So I need to seriously come in here and try to sort some of these out and see what I can do. That looks a bit better. So that's all the peas. Oh dear, got a pea coming through this way. You need to go back through mister. Got some more brassicas in here. So I like cauliflower and that. And then, yeah, spuds are gone crazy again. I do need to earth them up again, but we have put up more flowers over there. Oh, that one's so pretty. This is a starry night petunia. And then these ones are gorgeous. Really nice. So just waiting for them all to sort of fill out with their flowers. Oh, this is still going rather well. Now, we bought a tray of onions, just white onions, the large ones. Wasn't sure where to put them, so we'll put them in here for now. Oh, this is our plum tree. So, he's looking good. I can blossom. Oh, I think that's the cherry one. They're little green cherries. 
I am hoping to get the sweet corn put in here soon. So we need sweet corn put in. This is going to be the tomato bed. So I need to pull out some of these weeds. They need to come out. So that's it for this garden tour. I hope you enjoyed it. Hope you like seeing the pretty flowers. Isn't that ranunculus beautiful? Absolutely beautiful. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button, ring that notification bell. That way you will not miss a video. So until next time all, happy gardening.